Hey guys, it's Anna with Anna Travels back with a, another video. So I am trying to test out the GGI Pocket 3 a lot more and it's going to be a very interesting day to try to vlog because I have my toddler who is hitting me right now. Um, my husband is at practice and he won't be back till like 2 or 3 o'clock um, and the rain is coming around 1 or 2 o'clock. So I'm trying to like go do stuff out and like go visit Chatton Manor home so that should be the focal point of the video besides actually testing out the camera let her run around and uh yeah so i think we're gonna go ahead into Fredericksburg first because i need coffee <laughs> i need coffee i mean i can make coffee i have my own breville but um i think there's so many good coffee shops in Fredericksburg. let's see which one we end up at so i've decided to go to sods um Majlis? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um sh this is my messy car. Um she's from she's American, but she's from Bahrain originally. Um and she's so sweet and I love her coffee shop. She is a amazing baker as well. Um so the only problem with her shop is that the parking is not that great. It's usually all the parking you get. And there's like back parking, which I actually might go in the back and park because I have the baby and I don't want to pull her out while um, on the street. But that's her little shop. settings and so might, might check it out um, right now I'm heading to Best Buy um, going to get a new tripod for shooting just like regular um, things which I have to say I did shoot um, a sit-down vlog I need to reshoot it because I missed like two of my talking points um, so I need to redo it but I actually liked how it looked I like how the footage looked um, so I was pretty happy I used I'm not using it right now but I used the little um, DJI wireless too and I I'm not gonna say that I'm not a fan of the audio um, because I didn't I just started recording so it was like whatever it was preset to I might just need to change a little bit I don't know it just sounded a little I'm not sure flat is the right word or tinny or cause I don't think it sounded tinny I just I don't know it was like it didn't sound amazing to me but um, that's something I need to figure out um, I do know another thing I need to figure out with this little camera is to like do like angle down shots um, because like I know it might be the gimbal aspect of it that I need to figure out um, but like when I was like trying to shoot video of like the coffee I was like how do you angle this camera down you know so I can get that shot and also like when I was shooting the food in the, in the food case I also didn't quite figure it out and I'm at the wrong intersection so hold on about to be a jackass so um, so yeah so um, just 
learning curve type stuff. Well, this is what I got. A Sunpack aluminum tripod. We'll see how it is. I'm not going to do an unboxing on the channel, but, you know, might be our new uh, partner in crime for sit-down talk videos at home. So this was a manor, it was like a plantation home. It was completed in, I think, 1771. And I've known about this place. I've lived in the area uh, a little bit, but I've actually never been here. And it was just like, oh, I've driven down this road 10 million of times and never seen this, never really knew about any of the history. Um, if you really like, like YouTubers that do history, like especially like Virginia history, VA Travels, his channel is awesome. A uh, really good channel. Um, and he goes, I'm not sure if he, I'm not sure if he's been here. It was funny, like he's been to a few places that's like really close to my house, so, which I want to actually check out. So, but me and the wee one, we're gonna explore. I did not bring a stroller or her uh, carry her the baby carrier so we'll see how how much the toddler can handle So it was a Civil War hospital. Come on, babe. Vlogging with your toddler. She's obsessed about going up these stairs. And I wanted to go shoot over there and show you the view. <sighs> Toddlers. Also, this is why I'm not showing you much of the inside, because she started grabbing things, and I don't want to be disrespectful, but ah, toddlers, don't get your head stuck in there. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, let's go look at the view. So this house was built in 1771 and it served as like a plantation home. And then I guess in the Civil War era, it was actually used by the army as their headquarters and hospital. She's going back up the stairs and uh, this is a chaotic toddler filled vlog. Um, and because it was so strategic, they could look at the water and see, you know, I mean, they had a good view. I mean, beautiful view. I would have loved to own a house like this. I would still love to own a house like this. Um, yeah? Oh wow, you would have a great ski slope if you were to ski down that hill, but it would be very treacherous. <laughs> would not recommend. But there the water is. I was actually talking to the gentleman and he was like, why, why is their front house towards the water? And I was like, it's probably because back in the, you know, when it was originally, it was a plantation and they would have to ship 
you know, cargoes. And so being on the water made it a lot easier. But I think where we were, Sods, is like off that place. And this is the actual town of Fredericksburg. I think I mentioned that already, so sorry for repeating it. Getting used to the little camera, um, and I'll have to review the footage and see what I feel. I'm trying to do like artsy shots just to get a hang of it. I watched a YouTube video on our way down here um, when I was waiting for her to wake up from her nap, um, and there was some like artsy fartsy, you know, angle shots. I don't know if I achieved that. Well, I guess we're gonna find out once I edit this video. But I think I'm going to do a few more shots and then wrangle up the toddler and go home. We'll see. Hey guys, so I reviewed the footage and there is a lot I need to kind of learn about this little camera. I've never really filmed with a gimbal before, so it's just a little bit of a learning curve. I know that this camera can do a lot more than I know how to do with it for right now. So we're just going to take practice. Um, Footage-wise, things look beautiful. I mean, I don't. there's nothing wrong with the footage, you know, from my perspective. Um, I think it's a great little camera. I love how small and portable it is. It really just sticks, it fits nicely in my purse. Um, I did get a different case for it. On, off of Amazon. I got this thing. Um, it also protects the screen and also um, it prevents the screen from like turning and turning the gimbal on in your purse <laughs> which like you know I've heard that's like been a thing where people like will have it in a bag and then when they go pull it out like the screen flips and then the gimbal turns on in the bag and that could damage the gimbal. Um, so yeah, so I really like the slow motion. It's beautiful. Like I was like, oh damn. Um, and yeah, so I think this camera is just going to take me a little bit more. I guess there's a firmware update, um, that I guess I need to do right now. And I just need to learn a little bit more. I'm going to shoot with it again today. So hopefully you enjoyed this chaotic vlog. Um, so yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day and like and subscribe if you haven't and leave me a comment. Do you like the footage? Do you like this little camera? Um, I don't regret buying it so far. <laughs> um, so yeah, bye.